Hi friends, what's your feeling now with multi Android zone? Next month I am going to see you some exciting tutorials on Android application development. But before that, guys, I have seen many subscribers of multi Android zone who are beginners in Android are facing some problems with coding as they are not familiar with object oriented programming or Java programming well. So, we will give some tips and tricks of Java programming with Android to them. In today's episode, I am going to clear you the object oriented programming concept or OOPS concept. Now overview of OOPS concept. OOPS is used for to overcome the limitations of procedural programming. And OOPS stands for object oriented programming concept. And it is a technique to create program based on the real world. Now why object oriented programming concept? To understand it, I am going to give you a simple example. Suppose you want to build a house and suppose you need to make three types of labor to make this house. One is mason, painter and carpenter. Now mason required building material to build a house, painter required paint and carpenter required wood. Now you can employ them in such a way during your construction of building so that none of them can steal or waste of others material. That is carpenter cannot use the material or painter cannot use woods. Yes, that is the main perspective of object oriented programming concept to restrict the access of your data. Uh, now the question comes how to restrict your data. Answer is using the OOPS properties. Now what are the OOPS properties? The main OOPS properties are encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance and polymorphism. Now before going to that we need to know the concept of class and object. So what is an object? An object is a software bundle of variables and related methods. You can represent as a real world object using software object. Suppose you might want to represent a real world bicycle as a software object within an electronic exercise bike. A software object that models your real world bicycle would have variables that indicated bicycle's current state. Here you see speed is 10 rpm, pedal cadence is 90 rpm, current gear is 5th gear and these methods and variables are called the instance variable and the instance method to distinguish from them class variables and class methods. Now what is a class? A class is a blueprint or prototype that defines a variable and methods common to all object of a certain kind. From example you can create a bicycle class that declares several instance variables to contain the current gear, the current gear, the current cadence and so on for each bicycle object. The class would also declare and provide implementations for the instance method that allow the riders to change the gear, brake and change the paddling cadence. So object versus classes. In the real world, it is obvious that class are not themselves the object, that they describe the blueprint of a bicycle is not a bicycle. And it's a little more difficult to differentiate between classes and objects in the software. In figure, the class is not shared because it represents a blueprint of an object rather than the object itself. In comparison, an object is shared indicates that the object is actually exist and you can use it. Now clear your concept in encapsulation. What is encapsulation? It is a process of binding or wrapping the data and codes that operates on the data into a single entity. In real life example, suppose you have a pencil and a book and you want to put them in the bag. It's called uh, it's an example of an encapsulation. Or uh, if you want more easiest example than that, I can tell you that uh, when you are using a mobile app, you are getting uh, the features and GUI of this application, but you don't know how application is made. That is uh, encapsulated to you. Now what is abstraction? Hiding the non-essential features and showing the essential features abstraction is called the user view. Now here 
you can see an example. Suppose my bike is here is a gear brake and brand is Honda speed 60 mph gear is fourth and color is silver. Now the object have access to the data of my bike accelerate gear by break but it don't have access to brand speed gear color so you, you can restrict your access it is called your abstraction abstraction is actually the user view now what is an inheritance creating a new class from an existing class is called the inheritance the new class is called the child class or derived class now what is polymorphism the ability to take more than one function is called the polymorphism. There are two types of polymorphism. One is method overloading, another is method overriding. The ability to define more than one function with the same name is called the polymorphism. For example, you see here, circle is a special case of eclipse that is circle will fulfill all the properties of eclipse here rectangle is a special case of a polygon so rectangle will also fulfill the all the properties of polygon we will see all the oops properties encapsulation abstraction inheritance polymorphisms are in java programming step by steps so thank you for watching stay tuned to multi android zone bye for now